Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Juliana. Come and watch us make some healthy eats. Inspired by our favorite films and television shows. Welcome to Cinema and Spice. Today we're going to teach you how to make the Crowley Family Trifle. The big question on the table is, what's a trifle? What the heck is a trifle? <laughs> a trifle is a traditional British dessert. And you can really do a whole lot of things with a trifle. The idea is it's a layer of cake, a layer of custard, some fruit, cake, custard. Some people deviate out of the norm, but that's basically what Sounds it is. Sounds insane. To make our trifle, first what you're gonna do is bake the day before one of your favorite box vanilla cake mix, and usually they make two eight inch round pans. If you wanna spice up one of your cakes, you can add a few chocolate chips to it, just so that you have color differentiation. So first we're gonna make our custard. We're gonna add two eggs. Okay. And crack them right into the pot that we're gonna cook the custard in. We're going to add sugar. Okay. A pinch of salt and cornstarch, which is our thickening agent. Oh. Pop that in there. The recipe calls for two and a half cups of soy milk. You'll notice that the other two cups are over yonder simmering, and this half a cup we're adding to the egg. What we're gonna do is very slowly pour the warm two cups of soy milk into this. That way when we go to cook it on the cooktop, we're not scrambling our eggs. Once you have all of these ingredients whisked together, you're gonna bring it over to the cooktop, continually whisk it until it's thickened. About three minutes. You're gonna bring it over, add about a teaspoon of vanilla, and when it's all cool, it'll look like... Ta-da! Ta -da! <laughs> the magic of filming. And we're going to make now <gasps> whipped cream. Oh, my favorite food. Use those muscles, up. girl. We've had this bowl in the freezer for the last 30 minutes because that helps your whipped cream form nice stiff peaks if it's in a cold bowl. But we also have five strawberries inside of this, which is gonna add a little bit of flavor and a lot of color. We're gonna add one pint of whipping cream and make sure we take it out of the fridge just at the last minute. Pour the whole thing in and we are off to the races. So while that's happening, let's get our fruit. You can use whatever fruit you have. We're using strawberries and bananas and cutting them into bite-sized pieces. You know it's done if you flip it upside down and it stays in the bowl. This always makes me nervous. <laughs> We've got whipped cream done. We have custard done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put all this stuff away and it's time to assemble the trifle. The first item that's gonna go in the bottom of your trifle dish is your custard. But before you custard, we're going to use this Natasha has a trick for you. As a mold, our a mold. cookie cutter. And if you angle the knife towards the center of the cake, it'll sink down inside of it and not be too big. Then we're gonna use half of the custard. Okay. You're gonna put your first layer of cake down. Next layer is our fruit. So you're just gonna toss in those strawberries and the, let the bananas fall where they may. Next thing we're gonna do is add our second layer of cake. We're gonna cut it up and just place it in and around the bowl. Another layer of custard. Oh, y'all. We're gonna put a little bit more fruit right here. Okay. Just a little. And then... The final touch is... The whipped cream! Just plop that on top, smooth it out so it looks really nice and pretty. Top it off with some fresh strawberries. And now it's time for the best part. The tasting. There so you wanna get as much as you can in one bite. Oh yeah. Oh Custard yeah, and cake and fruit and whipped cream. You ready? Yes. To down to Nabby. To down to Nabby, darlings. And to season four. Mmm. I mean. <laughs> make sure you also make Edith's tea cocktail. And check out our Mrs. Hughes tea candles. So go do that. Or just eat more. Or eat more cake. <laughs>